Hey guys, I figured in this video I would do a little overview of my experience um, and my thoughts of upgrading to an SSD from the regular HDD, which is solid state drive um, from a hard drive disk in my MacBook 2008 unibody. Um, you can upgrade most of the Macs books out there, um, even the MacBook Pros, to an SSD, and I've had a lot of questions on this. So basically I'm going to be letting you know what hard drive I bought, what size I bought, how I installed it, and my overall general thoughts. So first off, I'll go open up Google Chrome here. As you can see, it opens extremely fast. And I'll go to the website crucial.com. Um, Crucial.com, this is where I bought my actual solid state drive. As you can see, they sell memory, uh, which is RAM, solid state drives, um, hard drives, and accessories, all for Mac. So basically what I did here was I clicked this actual scan my computer, and it actually scans your computer and tells you what is compatible with your computer in terms of solid state drives or RAM. And it lets you choose and select if they, if it analyze your computer as the right computer. So basically, when I did this, it told me I had the 2008 unibody MacBook Pro, which is exactly what I have. And so it recommended a bunch of different hard drives. So as you can see here, I clicked the solid state drive thing. And you can shop by capacity or manufacturer, etc. Um, my actual model, I will show you right here. As you can see, I also upgraded my RAM to 5 gigabytes from 2 gigabytes. But anyways, I'll click more info here. And then go to system report. And as you can see, I will go to Serial ATA here, and it will say, um, if you scroll down, it will say, uh, Macintosh HD, capacity 256 gigabytes about. I upgraded from a 160 um, gigabyte hard drive disk to a 256 gigabyte solid state drive. Now not only did I upgrade the capacity by 100 gigabytes, but I also upgraded the speed because solid state drives are flash memory. They're not actually a CD spinning hard drive, so they're much, much, much faster, um, produce much less heat, can be installed much easier, and it's just a much better hard drive all around. This is what the MacBook Airs of today have and the newest MacBook Pro of 2012, if you guys have seen that. So instead of buying a new laptop, I figured I'd just upgrade the RAM and the hard drive disk. And so for me, it went very, very great. I highly recommend the solid state drives. Um, right now, they're getting a little cheaper. For 256 gigs, I think it cost me like 225 bucks with a data connection kit. And literally, all I had to do was plug, unplug the old hard drive, plug in the new hard drive, um, turn on the computer, install Mac OS X again, and then hook up my old hard drive through a USB to copy all of the information to the new hard drive. So it was very simple. I will be doing a hands-on video on how to actually unplug your hard drive and hook up the new one to install it in the future, probably the next coming weeks for you guys to check it out. But I highly recommend getting a solid state drive. Everything opens extremely fast. As you can see, Finder windows open instantly. Um, Safari opens instantly, um, which I will I will X out of X out of here because I'm not sure what that is. Um, but everything opens super fast. I really highly recommend it. Um, it's so much more smooth, um, and the capacity is great, and it, it boots up in almost 10 seconds. It's it's ridiculous depending on how much you have on it. So I highly recommend an SSD. Um, I did do a video on how on what how to upgrade your RAM in terms of buying it online. Um, so I'm thinking of combining the videos and making it into how to upgrade your SSD and RAM um, manually, like outside of the computer. I'll be filming from outside and show you how I'm actually going to install those. Um, but yeah, hopefully you like this video. Be sure to subscribe and rate thumbs up so you don't miss the next video on how to actually install the hard drive once you have it purchased. Um, and yeah, basically. Follow me on Twitter, bookmark my website, Facebook, fan page, all that stuff will be in the description as well. You can check that out. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. And stay tuned for the next part in this series. This was basically just my thoughts. I highly recommend an SSD. It's just great. It's the technology of the future. Most computers are upgrading to it. And, yeah, go ahead and buy one if you haven't already gotten one, guys. Um, check out my other videos on my channel. More content will be coming soon. And I will be showing you how to actually install your hard drive in a future video over the next coming weeks. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. Peace.